Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Today I have a topic about development length and lapping length. Because many civil engineering students, they comment on my YouTube channel that sir, what's the main difference between development and lapping length for beam, column and slab. So therefore today I'm recording about development and lapping length. If you want to clear your concept about lapping length and development length, so you must watch this video from start to end, then you are able to know the main difference for these two. Let's start. If this video is helpful for you, so must like this video and subscribe this channel for more updates. Let's start. What's development length for beam, column and slab? So development length provided in beam and column junction to transfer the load or stress from steel to concrete. Right? Or you can make it more easy that development length provide it in column or in beam to create a bond between steel and concrete. Remember guys that if we don't provide development length in beam so the beam is not able to transfer the load to column. So therefore we must be provide development length for beam and also for column. So here is a diagram for development length. The horizontal this section is a beam and the vertical section is here column and these are main bars you can see these right so this is called development length this is the upper band and this is the lower band right it's called development length and we must be provide development length because it create a bond between steel and concrete if you don't provide development length Okay, so it will slip. If we provide development length in beam, so the beam is able to transfer the load to column, right? It will not slip away from supports. Therefore, we have to provide development length. Now you can see what's the formula for development length, right? As per IS 456-2000, we can denote it development length by capital L and small d, development length, right? So LD is equal D, multiply 0 0.87, multiply FY, divided by 2BD, right? Where D, this one, this is die of steel bar, and FY is characteristic strength of stirrups, which we use in beam. These are stirrups, right? In Newton per mm square, the characteristic strength of stirrup in Newton per mm square, right? Here, 2BD is design bond stress. In next lecture, I will tell you that how we can calculate development length in beam, column, and slab. Remember guys that development length should be provided at the ends of the beam, column, and also in slab. It should be provided and must be provided development length because it's very important for steel structure, right? Now, this is about development length and now we have the lapping length. That What's lapping length? Lap length. So lap length is provided for overlapping because every student know about that what's lap length, okay? So it's overlapping, right? Overlapping of two rebars are two steels to transfer the load from one steel to another. You can see the diagram. This is diagram. So this is one steel and this is the other steel. When we bind these two steels with each other, so it's called lapping. So how we can find lapping length for beam, column and slab? Remember guys that the lapping length should be provided at the mid of the structure. But remember guys that lapping length should be not provided at the ends of the supports. It should be provided at the mid because bending moment is zero at the mid of the structure. So therefore, it should be provided at the mid, also in beam, also in column, and also in slab, right? Now, what's the formula? So we have different types of formulas for lapping length because there are different uh, uh, grade of concretes and uh, different grade steel. So therefore, it's depend on your structure, right? 
So you can see this is lapping length and this is development length. And I have already discussed if there is any question about lapping length and development length or if you need about the lapping length uh, video. So the link is in the description of this video. And in next video, I will discuss that how to calculate development length for beam column and slab. So if you have any question about this video, so you must comment. I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.